Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing hydrogen peroxide to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. Chris from Pure Oxy Life reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in testing their hydrogen peroxide. Now I've tested hydrogen peroxide once before and that was in January of 2022. That was when I was first starting my channel. I hadn't really gotten into the rhythm of testing yet and I was just recently considering doing a retest of hydrogen peroxide so this came at a great time. I said absolutely send me your hydrogen peroxide and some information about your company and I would love to do the testing. So Chris sent me a package. Let's open it. Okay. So inside I have some bottles and also some literature, so let's check it out. First thing I want to do is take a look at the literature. So it looks like a nice welcome letter for me, so it's going to pause this and give it a quick read. Okay, so they gave me a nice welcome letter which explains what they have in this package which is great and also their contact information and some different uses for the hydrogen peroxide. Awesome, so let's take a look at what we've got in the box. So we have 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. We have 34.5% food grade hydrogen peroxide. Now this is concentrated so we're gonna really be careful and read how we're supposed to use this properly in an empty spray bottle, which is great. I love this. Nice, nice, nice. So they've included two products, the already diluted 3% and also the undiluted, very concentrated 34.5% hydrogen peroxide. Now both of these products are considered food grade hydrogen peroxide. And I just want to explain that food grade does not mean that you can ingest this product. No, 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 no. Food grade just means it's extremely pure, does not contain any stabilizers, and is not meant to be ingested, but can come in contact with food or food contact surfaces. So they included a sheet that tells me how to dilute that 34.5% hydrogen peroxide so that it is a 3%. When you're using hydrogen peroxide, you want it to be 3% or even less when you're using it. You do not use it at that 34.5% concentration. It must be diluted. So they included on here a chart. So it tells me if I have a pint that I want to make or a quart or a gallon, how much of the concentrate I have to put in and how much distilled water I should put in the bottle. So that's great. So I'm going to test this hydrogen peroxide like I test most of my other products, which is on some hard non-porous surfaces. What I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. Then I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home like the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, toilet rim, bathroom sink, and place that sample in the section label B for before. Then I'm going to clean using the hydrogen peroxide. I'll swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before using the hydrogen peroxide and after using the hydrogen peroxide. But there are other ways in which you can use hydrogen peroxide, not only just to clean those hard non-porous surfaces. And Pure Oxy Life actually gave me this really nice sheet of personal uses for hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to run through some of these with you now. You can use it as a foot soak for athlete's foot. That's awesome. A detox bath. Ooh, this looks interesting. Add a cup. Really? Boat? You can also be using a detox bath, using a cup of the 34.5% into a full bathtub um, for a detoxifying soak. And they do have a tip. They say avoid using this bath after 6 or 7 p.m. as the increased oxygen absorption may keep you awake. I actually might try that out. I have a beautiful whirlpool tub. I love soaking. I usually do Epsom salt baths for my shoulder, which actually hurts really bad today. So I actually might try that. Now I'm not going to be able to give you a scientific before and after, but I'll be able to tell you how I felt after doing it. It can be used as a douche by mixing uh, five or six tablespoons of the 3% with some water. It can be used as an enema, a foot relaxer, a post shower skin spray, a facial refresher, mouthwash, nasal spray, a toothpaste alternative, a denture soak. There's a lot of stuff here. Ah, that's amazing. A natural deodorant. You can use it as a skunk deodorizer for your pets. That's really interesting. So if you get your dog and they get sprayed by a skunk, you can use the hydrogen peroxide to help with that. 
Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. In the vaporizer, is a vegetable soak, is a marinade for meats, is a kitchen cleaner, so that's what we're gonna use it for. Um, a dishwashing boost, a laundry alternative to bleach, mold remover. There's so many uses of hydrogen peroxide. So today, I'm gonna to focus on the hard on porous surface testing. I think I'll also try that detox bath because that sounds interesting to me. And maybe I'll try some of those other things and I'll report back to you during the results section. But before I actually get to the cleaning and testing, I do wanna go over some warnings. I think a lot of people feel that hydrogen peroxide is kinda of harmless, but really at these concentrations, it can be harmful. Pure Oxy Life actually has a really nice section on their website um, for warnings and information. And the first thing they state is, while food grade is a natural product, it can be harmful if misused. I really wanna make sure people understand that. This 34.5% concentrate of hydrogen peroxide is extremely concentrated, okay? And this is most certainly not to be used straight, okay? I'm gonna say that over and over again. I hope you all listen to me. Oh, number two, it says never use 34.5% food grade hydrogen peroxide as full concentration. See? Good. Uh, never sniff or inhale the hydrogen peroxide. You can cause like sore throat or dizziness. Um, avoid direct skin contact with that 34.5%. Um, avoid eye contact. Avoid drinking and ingesting. Do not ingest hydrogen peroxide, please people. Um, and if you're gonna use it for any sort of medical treatment, you really should consult your doctor first. Let's have a look at the bottles just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So um, this is a concentrated one. It can be used as a kitchen cleaner, vegetable soak, mold kill. So we went through the, those things, which is good. There's also a QR code here. It's 100% locally sourced and family owned and proudly bottled in Texas. This is a very small family owned business, so I'm actually really happy to be able to um, test this product for them. It does say in red, dilute before use and keep out of the reach of children. On the back, it does just go through some warnings in first aid and poison control number just in case something happens, right? It's always good to have that. And general information. Oh, this is interesting. It says refrigeration or freezer recommended, not required. Okay, keep product in a cool place. Well, that's good. So I think I will most certainly put it in the refrigerator um, when I'm done testing it today. And it also says for the ingredients, this product is a pure 34.5% food grade hydrogen peroxide USP created from purified water and oxygen. Actual concentrate percentage can vary by a 0.4% threshold, of course. Uh, and they have their website and a phone number. And again, in red, dilution is required. Let's have a look at the other bottle. Very similar, it says 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. It also has a QR code on there, locally sourced, family owned. Very similar warnings on this packaging. Great, so let's see how well Pure Oxy Life hydrogen peroxide removes bacteria from my home.
So I'm super tired and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'm gonna take that detox bath in my Whirlpool tub. Now for some results. Let's start with the pre-diluted 3% hydrogen peroxide. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. We can see different types as well. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the 3% pure oxy life pre-diluted did an excellent job removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. Kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the 3% Pure Oxy Life Pre-Diluted did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there are two tiny bacterial colonies. So the Pure Oxy Life 3% Pre-Diluted Hydrogen Peroxide did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one tiny bacterial colony. So the Pure Oxy Life 3% pre-diluted hydrogen peroxide did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. Next, let's look at the results for when I took the 34.5% hydrogen peroxide and I diluted it myself with distilled water to make a 3% dilution. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the 3% hydrogen peroxide did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And then in the after section, we can see one bacterial colony. So the 3% hydrogen peroxide did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria in different types as well. In the after section, it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but there's about a half a dozen very tiny, small bacterial colonies. So the 3% hydrogen peroxide did a good job of removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. This isn't a tremendous amount of bacteria, but we definitely can see bacteria there. And in the after section, we have no bacterial growth at all. So the 3% hydrogen peroxide did an excellent job removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. So overall, the Pure Oxy Life hydrogen peroxide did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from around my home. I also took a bath using the hydrogen peroxide when I was feeling tired mid-afternoon to see how I felt when I got out of the tub. Now it's kind of interesting, usually when I take a bath, I'll take one in the evening, you know, with Epsom salts or something, usually to kind of relax my muscles and make me sleepy to go to sleep. And honestly, I felt great getting out of the tub. Um, it, I went in feeling really, really, really sleepy and just kind of like, Ugh, you know, I probably need a shot of espresso to, to wake up. Um, but after the bath, I actually did feel good. I did not feel tired or sleepy. So that was kind of interesting for me. I did have a question for Pure Oxy Life, which I asked Chris, and I asked, why is it that you're using these clear plastic bottles to bottle your hydrogen peroxide? Because usually I see hydrogen peroxide bottled up in opaque bottles. And Chris was very quick to respond and let me know why they've chosen these clear bottles. And I do want to say their customer service is fantastic, always emailing me right back when I ask a question. 
So Chris said, I'm glad you asked. The opaque or natural colored bottles are HDPE plastic, which is very cheap. But for the 34.5% peroxide, they tend to swell from the heat when shipping, causing retailers to have to refrigerate the concentrate, which they don't like. And I don't blame them, that co that's extra cost on their end, right, to store product. Sometimes it's so bad that they won't even stand on a shelf looking terrible. And nobody needs that, that's not attractive and that doesn't look good for your product, look like there's something wrong with it, right? So we sought approval from several entities to see about PET plastic. We got the sign off on it and we do show how pure our product is, but more importantly, we can pressure seal them as well as not requiring the refrigeration. We've tested the PET bottles and we've had great results. Out of hundreds and hundreds, only two have leaked and they were defective bottles. UPS has managed to damage a few too, but for the most part, we don't have as many issues with the clear bottles versus the opaque bottles. We do spend a little more on these, but that's where we're standing out apart from our competitors. Then I asked about it being clear. I said, but what about the breakdown of the hydrogen peroxide? And he said, yes, that can still happen even when it's in a non-clear bottle. We recommend keeping it in the fridge or storing it in a cool, dark place, which I did. I put mine in the refrigerator because that's what it said on the paperwork. We've tested these after sitting in sunlight for several weeks and still tested about 30%. We also include an expiration date. We give them 18 months. We really do strive for quality. Just know when you order your hydrogen peroxide from Pure Oxy Life, it will come in a clear bottle. It has been tested and you can keep it in your refrigerator in a cool, dark place. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Pure Oxy Life's hydrogen peroxide. It did a fantastic job removing the bacteria from around my home. And as you know, hydrogen peroxide doesn't have any scents or fragrances, so I wasn't coughing. There was no scent when I was cleaning around the home. You know, sometimes some strong cleaning scents do bother me. And this is the kind of product that can be used in all places in the home. One thing I really do like about Pure Oxy Life is that they have the two different dilutions for you. You can purchase it pre-diluted at 3%, which is very, very, very convenient for people who do not want want to bother diluting something further. It also comes in that 34.5%, but you must dilute it before you use it, okay? But this is great. Just like other concentrated products, it's going to last you a long time. So thank you, Pure Oxy Life, for giving me the opportunity to test your hydrogen peroxide. I'm very impressed with the product and the responsiveness of your customer service. It's really good to be able to send a message out and get a reply really quickly instead of waiting days and days and hope that a company maybe will give me a reply. I also like that your replies were not canned responses. We've seen this on this channel where I write to a company and I get like the, you know, copy paste answer. You gave me answers that came from your mind at the time, not just some canned response. And I really appreciate that personalized customer service. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first so we can have a conversation about the product before you mail it to me. And so I can give you the timeline about where I am testing. If someone mails me something now, I'm probably going to get to it in about three months. Okay? But we'll talk about it when you send me an email. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.